Okay, so this is part two of the worst job that I've ever had. Um, hopefully you've seen part one. If not, maybe you wouldn't do that because this part will make a lot more sense. Um, but this part I'm calling the best two week notice that I ever gave. So uh, what would I leave off? Okay, so I was told that I really wasn't fired and asked to come back to work at a Veterans Day event that we were having. So it, it wasn't, you know, the job itself wasn't that bad and I needed the money. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go back. So I go back to the Veterans Day event and it was super weird because because I was one of the few veterans actually employed at the time. So my picture was everywhere, like on these different screens and on the tables and it was super odd. But at my boss's table was a big picture of me, a cube picture of me. So I thought that was odd, but she, so she never said, I think she's, we said hello and that was basically it. So I, next day I go back to work and that next month was just pretty sucky because uh, the relationship I thought we had, even the fake one, was non-existent. She, we, we would just say hello to each other and that's it. Everything, every other conversation was work-related and um, mostly through email. And if she did say something to me, she would say, I'm going to follow up with an email just so that we have this documented. It was just so, it was horrible. What a, it was just a miserable place to be. Um, and so I, I didn't know what, you know, I'm tr just trying to plan my next step. Turns out that her sickness was worse than they, than she initially thought. And she was going to have another surgery. And this time she was going to be off for three months. And this is horrible to say, but I was super excited because at this point I knew how to do my job finally. And she wasn't going to be there. And I, it sucks to say that, but I really was super happy of the thought of being able to come to work and not have that just weird situation anymore. So she, she, she's gone for three months. I'm there for myself. I'm holding it down. Everything's great. Uh, at the same time, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a pass down, which, you know, I just wrote down every job duty that I had in step A, step B, step C. I went through everything. I wrote it all down into a book just so that my situation would not happen again. I sent an email copy to my boss at home. I said, hey, this is what I'm working on. Look it over. Please let me know if anything's incorrect. So my plan then was I, I kept thinking about her coming back to work. And I thought, I don't, I, I just can't work with her anymore. I, I can't. I don't want to do it. So I figured I'm going to find another job and try to plan it out so that I'm not working with her. She comes back, I leave. That kind of situation. And I actually did it. I had it down to where she was going to come back the first of a month and that's I would start my new job like two days later so I, everything would work out perfect so that's that was the plan well just about two weeks before that was supposed to happen when I was going to give my notice and you know I get nervous about giving my notice that's not something that comes easy to me my boss's boss walks by my office and, and, and says hey when you have a chance you stop at my office uh, we're gonna call your boss and the three of us will have a little chat. I said, cool, that's fine. So I figured this is the perfect opportunity. So I put out my two week notice, sign it, and go into his office, right? So she call, oh, so he calls my boss, we're talking, and then she says, uh, my boss says, well, I spoke to my doctor and he would like me to take some more time. So I'm gonna take like another month and a half or something like that off. Um, and at this point, I'm just like, oh, what do I do? Like, cause I, I liked it like, again. I liked my job. I liked all my other coworkers, and I liked my boss's boss. Everything else was great, so I started to feel bad, you know. And then my boss says something along the lines. She goes, you know, I, you know, I know you can, you know, I've been told you've been doing a great job, and I got the pass down, and everything looks great. It's perfect, you know. She goes, and she said something like, I know you're gonna make mistakes, but we'll just fix that when I get back in. And I thought, you know what, this is never gonna end, I am done, that was the moment. I just said, well, you know, I, I have something to tell you guys. Um, I just, I don't think this plan is gonna work out the way you might want it to. So I hand my boss's boss my two week notice. <laughs> and uh, I left and it, it, was, it was such a great moment because she was on speakerphone. Uh, and she was just silent and I loved every second of that silence because I, I just knew that 
she was in a situation and I think she realized that she caused this. And, um, and I was, I wasn't mean, but I, I was direct and I said exactly what I felt. And I pretty much said, I don't think we have a good working relationship and I did not want to be here when you got back. And so this was my plan. And, um, I'm sorry that you can live up to the, the time you were supposed to come back. I understand you have medical issues, but I can't. I can't, I have to continue with my life. And uh, of course my boss's boss understood and things worked out because I had a uh, coworker who took over from another department and me and her were super close. I showed her how to do everything and that part of it was fine. Um, just a couple of things as far as karma goes. First off, the HR assistant was let go because of that situation with me. My boss, I found out about a year later that the person who was hired to replace me was actually super experienced in that position, had many years of experience in it. And so my replacement went to my boss's boss and says, and said, I refuse to work with her. <laughs> and pretty much the same thing that I went through, this new person was going through. And so they let my boss go. So there you go. I just, just wanted to let you guys know that Sometimes the best things happen. Not only did they get karma, but that was that move as far as with in my career, it opened up so many doors. Like my career advanced so much from that moment. Because of that moment, I, I really was not, was barely making enough money to, I, I couldn't even live by myself with the money that I was making. And I went from that to a situation where I'm super comfortable. And it wouldn't have happened if that didn't happen and karma can be bad and karma can also be good. So that's my message for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope if you have your own, you're making your own videos or just like, comment, subscribe, but comment, let me know about any situation that you've been through that's similar and um, I'll catch you later. Bye.